Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. In the last one, we finally got to beat the boss in the second jail. And there's nothing more we could do now. We should wait at the hideout until Zenkichi reaches out. So, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna move on and see what happens next. I'm excited to find out who the next, like, person we're gonna go after is. After some time, Zenkichi came to the hideout. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's I had such a hard time said. fighting the last boss in the, in the last and video. Natsume's it was smartphone worked the same as Alice's The too. worst. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? So it's the same as Alice then. You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the My first guess as to who that well. is is the well, detective guy. This guy's in Kichi, because I don't know who else Sorry, is going around to all these places all aside from him and us. So but it is quite possible that we're actually place. chasing somebody who did, hey, Zenkichi, did who did it. I just don't that? know. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these I'm wondering if it's going to be like a separate well, villain or if it's actually going to be this guy. But mainly, because he's the one that follows the all the crimes. The timing? the timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time. That being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Could someone be exploiting it, maybe? Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out That's is true. suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. I don't even know what you're talking about. On that, front as well. that must have been something that was Still, mentioned before and I just about forgot major about. Corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet. No. At least nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. <sighs> Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? I would have to assume so. Sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. <sighs> Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find but like I said, so far the only overlap is him. Things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs? We might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. That yes, could be fun. I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. Is that guy voiced by Nolan North? He sounds a lot like him. Up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy. Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'll wear one too. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. Are we actually going to get a real costume change this time? I'd kind of like to see everybody in a Yukata. That'd be cool. Dude, check out all the oh yeah, check it out. That's awesome. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively. 
apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? Oh god, look at that mask. He's not a dude. What is that? It's like a mix between a chicken and a Power Ranger helmet. Jeez, what are you, entertainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Uh. I kind of want to check out the masks. Uh, yes. Love a good mask. Perhaps it's our experience with them in the metaverse. Telling me, I already bought one. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Hey. You're calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Well, you don't even have to get ready. Sorry for the wait. I feel like we all look pretty good. You are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry. It's so weird that a cat is hitting on a human woman all the time. It was worth the wait. Everybody looks so nice. Thanks. Means a lot hearing that from you. Absolutely picturesque. You brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah. According to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You gotta try and make me feel better. <laughs> you made a good choice with that mask. Though. Pity compliments. Yellow is a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon. Like is it that. yellow? It you looks orange to me. Festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo? No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? What are you talking uh, about? Wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. Hmm. What do you call it? I guess a water yeah, balloon? I, it. I mean, it's only a little bit, but there's still some water inside. I don't I have no idea what they're talking about, so <laughs> looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice, we've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge and so healthy. That sounds what are we waiting so for? good. Chow! We should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting These the people eat so coffee. much food. It's, it's no, ridiculous. I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch goldfish. I had fun with everyone at the festival. It'd be better if we could actually watch it or even better like experience all the like mini games and stuff that'd be cool but i get why they didn't put it in there we basically ate our way through sendai and it was amazing gotta hand it to old man masamune he is one cool dude that's lord to you did i do it right yusuke am i that predictable <laughs> catching goldfish seems difficult is there some sort of secret to catching one try to stay calm then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll Were they catching time. them by hand or something? That must be Maybe another thing I'm just unaware of. Let me oh, guess, another crime happened? <laughs> How about you? Just working? Anyway, that's got to be Nolan North. I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Doho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Alba campus. So they're going to jam? <laughs> Not that kind of session. The CEO oh. of Madis is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. What's in it for us? I'll treat you guys to dinner or something. The food in Hokkaido is really something special, you know? And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. What can you tell us? 
you have any information that's helpful? Akira Konoe. He looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, all right? So what did he want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Yes, break suppose we will, Yusuke. Get back to work. Yeah, we do what we gotta do, I guess. University of Toho Lecture Hall. As you all Again, know, we stand out so an much. Ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision emma can help everyone make the best choices what is that supposed to mean exactly the though ceo seems pretty spot on wow he's so composed he's practically overflowing with confidence look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles he's got everyone's attention you're right He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medisa is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of I this? I wonder what kind of stuff we could possibly kind of learn mastermind? from this, though. Um, I do. Maybe I don't know how else it could be you happening. Beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires. The jails don't disappear. There's got to be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't How can know much we about say Emma? that there's a real culprit if we haven't even considered who could be the culprit right. to begin with? Alice and Natsume said the same things <clears throat> in their testimonies. Because we already know that they're being con like or that somebody's case, behind everything. The monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. But we don't know Which exactly means like it could be at how like I don't know. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Grandfu's telling us, right? All we can do is keep <clears throat> solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. But we're not going to learn any, like, juicy info from a public speech that's been rehearsed and purposefully leaves out those kinds of things. Can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. And again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? No. I. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Restaurant. Yeah, why are you following oh, us around Angelus everywhere? Is on, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. But why are you following I found us? That way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. No, nah. Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we gonna do? Yeah, but only because you were meowing. Uh, we should run. <laughs> Whoa, stop, that won't make stop. us look guilty it's or anything. Right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. What would running have actually accomplished? Wow, <clears throat> to think you guys are the famous phantom thieves. 
Dude, stop yelling that. Uh... We were just pretending? <laughs> Come on now. Don't try to hide it. Uh, when you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you I really didn't try that hard to hide it, did I? Hongo Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... She heard everything. <laughs> um... Can we ask what you're doing here? The question is, how did nobody else hear it? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medice came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medice is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. I guess that makes sense, but it's still suspicious that you're following us around everywhere. So you're Emma's creator, and Medice is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. What is that supposed to mean? I just designed the base. Who knows what Medice did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. So she made it, but she's not the reason that this is happening. I expected this turn of events. <laughs> that little wave. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medice came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. Why is she still standing there? And let's not forget the university. She waved at us like she was gonna lunch. leave. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? Yeah, but it seems pretty clear that, like, <laughs> let's play dumb room for it. Let's ask her for help, I guess, because it seems pretty clear that she wouldn't have something to do with the desires. To cover this up. She's just the one who made the program, and then they twisted it into that, or somebody else did, for sure. We'll tell her everything. Plus, we're so fucking public already, we might as well just tell everybody who we are. It's not gonna change anything. Right, we know, it's kinda hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her, like we did with Senkichi? Wow, it really does exist! Could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? Well, that's what I consider the possibilities. Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! I think she's the only person to actually believe us. Even the people in our group didn't believe uh, us at first. Uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Seriously. Ichinose-san? Do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I knew that I'm was going to happen. The world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Good point. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? That also means that somebody knows about the metaverse and desires and stuff, so that's really interesting you know cuz who could that possibly be? Their hearts are changed. Again, my only thought is it has to be the cop because he has he's the only person with information on the Phantom Thieves like that, as far as I could tell. Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby. Because didn't he come from like a task force of people who are hunting down the Phantom Thieves? So they would know, I assume. Let's help each other? Maybe she could be one of the Phantom Thieves now. That'd be cool. I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. Plus, something tells me she would have gotten involved regardless. What do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it. 
Um, tell us about Medici. I or well, tell us about Emma first, because that's your project. Right. You know the well, most about it. We'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna get Is that what all those items were for? Life? Like the old dirty yes, phone case and all that shit? wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide some things well. We just said we were going to, didn't we? It's fine, just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Here's to working together. Okay, I'm looking forward Clink to it. Clink your imaginary drinks. Oh, oh great, they're even easier to obtain now. That's handy. Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia. Humanity's companion. Yeah, we know. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. Yeah, well it's not her program. Later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Do we have her Here, code? I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around. Bye. Uh, Took her a minute, but she well, finally left. She goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay. As I don't know how she could know though. Guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, hey! Uh, anything you didn't tick off your list yet? While we're still here, this is your last chance. I don't know if there is anything. Ayo! Can I borrow you? There's something I want to do before we go. I shall await you at the entrance of the Mount Elba Park Shrine. Hm. Might as well do that. Put that back in normal. And do the bond stuff real quick. Um, let's see, what's going to be helpful? I guess we kind of need this. Um, this will come in handy. Increase the effects of healing items, that should help. Okay, um, where are you Futaba? Let's hang out. I almost didn't see her because she's super short. <laughs> I straight up overlooked her. I want to get a picture in this cutout before we head out. This is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called Denari over too, so you could join in. Or so you should join in. Sure. Let's start making some memories. Okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Masume. In the blue corner, we have Inari! Ah, ch cheering, whatever. Hmm. I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. How's this? Whoa, this is crazy. You really do look like him. Mewhee <laughs> Oh my god. Looks like he's wearing armor. How interesting. 
What's up, Masu Man? Very well. I said his name wrong. I don't even care. I can't say I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. There's still something missing. Oh, that's right. Oh, I know. Akira, you get the other one. That's it. Oh, look at us. <laughs> Ah, uh, here comes the princess. Cute couple. Akira, is it just me or are we being exploited for her entertainment? We're an item now. <laughs> well, if you say so. Well, he he jumped on that real fast. He was like, okay. <laughs> it looks great, but maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this. Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Inari, your lord Date Mas Masamu... Masamune. Why can't I say his name right? Uh, as ruler of the Tohoku... Tohoku? I don't know. Region. Everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta no, own it. I see, then. Perhaps like this? You think you can win the respect of your people like that? Uh, then how about this? Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. Went a little too overboard, I guess. Everyone had fun at the photo stand-in. That was nice. And we got level up. That really did come in handy, that level up for getting more bond level faster. Um, Let's just try and fill out as many as we can. Why not? Rather be a jack of all trades than a master of none. Shouldn't we be going... Yeah. I should write something. I believe we've taken care of everything. Let's, get to work. Let's head out to Hokkaido. See where we go to next. What are you gonna do? Let's, Let's go. go! Um, yeah, I don't really care. Stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be all right, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like- A few hours later, a certain parking area. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. I'm assuming you're still doing all the rest- or the driving, so... Makes sense that you're exhausted. You should rest for a bit. All this time on the road is starting to get to me. This is the longest I've ever driven, so any amount of rest would help. Do we not That's have true. another driver? We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Well, we still have, uh, what's her name? Sorry for asking Haru. too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. You could. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening but to she's like the only other person with a license or whatever. Me alert and motivated. And we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage your shoulders at once and procure the finest self-serve money can buy. On it! <laughs> Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wow, okay. on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto? It is kind of weird I to be to like. Apologize. To have him do it. What? Oh, why? Why does he need to rub her shoulders? Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging an AI that But what if we go into the other world where she has a physical form? Could she massage her there? Would that work? That'd be interesting. Sophia? Why is she so... Yeah, why is she so upset all of a sudden? She's like as de depressed as I normally am. We all feel down at times. Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? 
That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Well, now it's swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look She sweet. must be manic depressive. I say we call just like I am. The moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. There might be a new character I relate to the most now. <laughs> You gotta do something about those chips. You can't just leave them open while you're driving around. What if she hits like a speed bump or something or a pothole and then all those chips are just everywhere? You said it. Nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we nearly stripped naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. If we don't, we'll go to jail. So, definitely do our best to keep it inside the tent if we're getting naked, I guess, which is apparently a thing we're doing now. So, this is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? There's another festival? Seriously, that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be. Oh, then I was like, I know we just. Is there gonna be a festival in every spot we stop at? But no, I think he was making a joke because it's cold outside. An intense one. Oh, an intense one. Great. That means whoever Zenkiji's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, it seems that, too convenient. I think we should hit the back. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia, you work quick. Yeah, and that's super that close. For you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Where are Don't you worry, gonna go? You're a cat. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. What? What? No, no. I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as Does she not know that? Yeah, ca That's cats don't enough. like water. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. Fine then, get in the bath. I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? Uh, <laughs> the hot water like wreck it along with you inside. I'm sure we can work out the details. How would it yeah, even Sophia. like? If you put your phone in the water, even if it's waterproof, she's not going to feel it. Mm -hmm. This is Odori Park. It's famous for its fountains and TV something. I didn't read that last part. The bathhouse is in a place called Suzushi no. I suck at pronunciation. It should only be a short walk away from here, so let's get going. Alright, let's go, I guess. New environments, new adventures, new memories to be made. Mommy, do you think Kaho-chan will like these? I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. That's sad. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Y you think now so? That you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing what? in the Dory Park. A snow maybe sculpture murdered a lady? Life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. I'm so confused about what happened. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? What kind of sculpture was it? What <laughs> what is that face? Is that the bathhouse? That does not look like an inviting place I want to bathe in. 
Now we're in Suzushino, which is apparently a heaven for pedestrians around this time. I wonder why it's so crowded though. Everybody's talking about voting. Well, no matter. Back to the bathhouse. Just go straight for a bit and then take a right and you'll be there. Oh, thank god it's not that place. I feel like there's an office building behind that face that where the windows are like the eyes so everybody could just see out. That's probably not what's happening, but it could, feels like that's possible. Yes. Oh, what a fancy spot. Okay, go get yourself cleaned up. Bath time. Bath time with the boys. Ah, now this. Paradise. You ever just take a bath Miles. with your boys? The heat has crept into my bones. This really melts the stress away. I've learned a valuable lesson on this journey. Sometimes you simply need to enjoy being naked. What is with him being yeah, so fascinated about being naked? What exactly? Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. Whoa, on! Are those CGI? What? I can hear voices coming from the what girl's side. What did you use to get those? Dieting life hacks? You're so skinny. Yet, could you stop oh my God. attention to me? Go bother Haru instead. Hers are no different. <gasps> stop it! Jesus. Please keep it down. Remember, it's not only us in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looking good, Ryuji. Just start flirting with him. You know, body positivity oh, for everybody. Really Equality. Wait, what? Man, this water feels great. You well, know, if they can compliment each other's body, why can't we? Sophia might like it as well, though an incorporeal man. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? On who? I was. Oh, the AI. I wasn't really paying attention. She is humanity's companion. <laughs> She's a really cool AI, I think. That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Try as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light. Mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it. Its enigma grows deeper still. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that. <laughs> but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. She does it so she can grow. That is indeed a logical conclusion. Particularly for a sentient program. Understanding the heart would certainly prove helpful. Uh, yeah. What if she's humanity's companion, it would make too. sense to know what humans want. If that's what Sophia has decided, in order to be a support. better companion. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, heat's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? I'll take strawberry milk instead. Fruit medley milk for me. He seems like a strawberry milk kind of guy. Whoa, that sounds good too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We are in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. That's a good point, actually. Hokkaido is known for milk. It would make sense to actually, yeah. Why would we flavor it? That's a good point. Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. To be honest, we really should have gotten the other one then, because Hokkaido is known for their milk, so it would make so much more sense to get that and try it the way it's supposed to be first kind of a slap in the face to culture when you're like I'm gonna go to you know to this place where they're known for milk and then get an artificial flavored milk instead oh, uh, well, you know, 
Huh? Still pretty good though, probably. You have a phone call from Zenkichi. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a ball. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? <laughs> Long arm of the law. <laughs> I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? Anyway, <laughs> Just bully him. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Zenkiji's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for it. The music in these games are so good. It's like every track is such a bop. Love it. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo. We're going after the mayor? Our target's a mayor? Jesus. No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be? Shino wasn't so different. This is true. Such things have happened before. That's from the uh, first game, by Did the from Persona the 5. In case you don't know. Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Yeah, that's uncommon for somebody who works in politics 50? for sure. So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. Yeah. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. Like, at least the it's other two targets we went after were like, potentially they were just Who really good at what they do and people love them because the that could happen. The but there's literally no way somebody who works in politics is getting stats like that it just doesn't make sense solid leads just yet. so what do you make of all this someone's changing hearts for sure and that's where you come in it is suspicious i will admit it's more than suspicious uh, we need a keyword to the other ones were suspicious because not. nobody knew whether or not it could that be, won't be a problem She's like manipulation or whatever of people's desires but this is like there's, there's got to be something going like keyword. something wonky going on so you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak very likely yes in fact Kyoto's the other ones were really Shino easy to figure out making the speech since it's close to the election the crowds may well be I still feel like we could have figured those out without ever having been told what the passwords were though because they were so easy to figure out perhaps this is no surprise <sighs> is something wrong no it's just it's hard to explain Mariko Hyodo the name seems familiar somehow I mean she is the mayor of town Maybe why would it seem familiar possibly Sorry, let's put that Has she met her now. at some point or something? Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. Well, Tell I don't think we can. She's a mayor. If she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey, should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? She's an important part of our investigation now. Uh... You know what? Let's not tell him just yet, because we don't even know if that's gonna work you, out well. You know, mind filling me in? I think you ought to give Zenkichi the details. But I don't want to. He could have something to do with all this shit, and if he knows that there's somebody working with us, he could target her. That's not a good plan. You made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? Did you, did we not just I tell you that? Hadis, actually, it wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medis. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? She likes oh, cats. Well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. 
the report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. Futaba's such so a gremlin, the way she just crouches up there. Abilities like this behind my back. It's like the most adorable Understood. gremlin. Well, take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? No. You guys run off making like I said, I don't even know if like you have something man. to do with this or not. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? At least we know for sure that Ichinose didn't have anything to do with this stuff. Help only gets us so far. What? I also don't trust you. I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you. Oh, why would you say that? That just made everything worse. Your goatees. A statement. <laughs> I don't need your pity. <laughs> You're the one bringing it up. That's great. Don't mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the 10th, and I'm counting on you to be there. <laughs> I don't know why he's still hanging around us. He seems genuinely upset every time he leaves. Until then, I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared? She doesn't seem like a very patient type. It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, uh, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido Ooh, soup curry is also be great. not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Oh yeah, that's right, she's a gardener. Okay. Then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. I forgot that that was like her whole thing in the last one. She liked taking Thanks, care of plants Sophia. and stuff. The directions are all yours tomorrow. <laughs> Level up, baby! Sapporo Central, former Hokkaido government Check office. So we skipped all the other stuff, or did we place. come here first? It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island, and an important... It's a beautiful backdrop, problem. that's for sure. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? At least three. What's going on over there? I hey, guess you're the mayor. Completely wilted. How could you overlook this? Because even though we weren't supposed to meet you so face to face, we just, just happened to. I'm assuming. If she's not the mayor, she definitely works for her, that's for sure. Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this! You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. Then that's what I'll do, mayor! She's got a very witchy nose. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Don't Did let her hear you say that. Oh, uh, everybody run away. Here for sightseeing. I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional professional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? You are... I knew they would know each other for some reason. Who are you, huh? though? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. Is she a relative me, or a friend of a relative? Kyoto. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Ah, uh, okay. She's the mayor? <laughs> oh, could it be your Mari son? Yes, yes. That's oh, why it seemed familiar. My heart. It's been ever so long. Why is she so nice I now? She seems genuinely like a nice lady now. Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari son was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. She's a and golfer? She always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Some That's kind of sweet. Why'd she stop showing up? Got that right, Haruchan. I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Also, if you don't know, another reference to the first game, he was one of the people we changed the oh, heart no. of, I believe. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know. I think he ran like a fast food chain, or he was like the I president of a fast food that. chain or something like okay. that. I have good people managing my company. 
and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Are you oh, sure? Please forgive me. You certainly act like emotions. it a lot of the time. Better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? Maybe she's just very innocent and that's why she seems very young. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to Even the way she dresses is like pretty young. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once. <gasps> I'm on it. I was going to say she's dressed like a flower girl and then realized that Goodness. her character type is be is a flower girl. Off. I'd like to keep chatting. There are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. Yeah, tell us all your secrets. Give us all the information we need right away so we don't have to struggle for the next fucking 18 Sorry, hours or whatever. Once, she seems really two-faced. Mari-san, you used to be so kind to everyone. That's what I'm saying. What happened? It's not that she's like two-faced. It's that she was like genuinely happy in that moment. No, no, we just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Maybe she's just really high-strung. Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. Nothing to apologize for. You can always get it later. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's yeah. right. We're already Our not doing this the way that it's according to plan, Today, so... Let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Then we will find out for you, Haru. No problem. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's all kinds of people there. I Meaning there are all kinds of rumors, too. What we want is any kind of info that points to Mariko Hyodo being a monarch. Let's go! Begin investigation. Alright, well, since we have to do this investigating and stuff, I'm going to leave it off here, and in the next one we'll pick up with trying to find the information and everything, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you stopping by. Later. Later.